Hello. Today we'll look at few sums and look at how to approach the CAT exam without using formulas. We'll take a few sums and try to understand how to solve faster. For each sum, first try to solve on your own before you look at the explanation. Try to understand the sum. There is a packet of five chocolates and sold at a price of four chocolates. So you purchase 19 such packets. So one packet is free. So trader receives 20 packets and sells each chocolates as it, at its list price. So here we have to find cost price and selling price. So just to understand, let's assume cost price is rupees one per chocolate, which means for per packet, he buys for four rupees and for 19 packets, he pays a rupees 76. So that becomes his cost price. Selling price, he sells each chocolate. The number of chocolates he has is 5 into 20, which is 100. So he sells at 100 rupees. Now you can do this calculation orally. The easiest way to do it is cost price is 76, selling price is 100, profit is 24. 24 upon 76 is less than one third, which is less than 33 percent. So you can make out the answer is B option. It can't be as low as 24. If profit is 25 and cost price is 75, profit becomes 33.33 percentage, one third. But in this case, the profit is 24 and the cost price is 76. The numerator is smaller, denominator is bigger. So we can make out it's less than 33.33 percent. So option is 31.58%. So you can save time by assuming value of 1 rupee per chocolate instead of forming equation. And you can save time by approximately getting the answer instead of calculating it accurately. Function. The only thing that is given out here is fxy is equal to fx plus fy. If you notice profit properly, this will get satisfied if I assume fk is equal to k which means fx equal to x, fy equal to y, and fx plus y equal to x plus y satisfies. So that means f2 of 3, 2 upon 3 has to be equal to 2 upon 3. Now we look at the option. So we can eliminate d option. We can also eliminate c option because f0 will be 0 into 2 upon 3 will be 0. b option is possible. Even a option is possible because f1 is 1, 1 into 2 by 3 will be 2 by 3. If I look at it properly, I can make out that even if I take fk as 2k, it should satisfy. In which case, f of x plus y will be 2x plus y, f of x will be 2x, f of y will be 2y, satisfies. In which case, f2 upon 3 will be 4 upon 3, this will not satisfy. You can make out that answer has to be A option. So, 2 upon 3 into 2 will become 4 upon 3, f1 will be 2, satisfies, so answer will be A. So here what we did was we didn't solve, solve. We basically looked at the options and tried to eliminate the option and get the answer. What is the maximum number of acute angles in an octagon? Octagon is 8 sided. To find the external angle of a polygon, so what is a polygon? External angle of polygon is 360 divided by number of sides, in which case 8 for a regular polygon. In this case, it becomes 45 degree. So if this is 45 degree, this becomes 135 degree. So if four angles are 180, the remaining four angles will be 90. But for getting an acute angle, it should be less than 90, which means there cannot be four angles with 90 or acute angle. So that means we can make out that we can have 5 angles with 179 which is less than 180 and 3 angles with less than 90 is possible. So automatically we can make out the answer is C option. So I have not put any equations for any of the sums given out here. I have understood, looked at the fundamentals of the question, understood the sum and tried to get the answer. So try and solve as many questions without formulas, understanding the sum and figuring out how to get the answer. Thank you.